Noir 29 Dependence is an amazing, sexy perfume, right? <laughs> it smells expensive. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Elena, a girl from Ukraine who left the country uh, because of the war. It was a difficult decision to leave all plans and the old life and move to Israel. Here I'm trying to start life from the scratch and my passion for perfumes helps me and inspires me. I will be glad for any of your support. I don't want to focus on politics and I think you already understand what a terrible time now is for my country. This is my first video in English, so I hope I can do it. I want to make this perfume uh, video understandable uh, for my international viewers. By the way, write to me right now in which country you are located. Okay, let's start. It happens that you make long-term plans, uh, plan your life and satisfied with all your results and you are filled with a passion to achieve more. But suddenly one morning you hear the sounds of explosions and it's not the same as in the cinema, but even more realistic. If I go back in time, I remember packing my bags very nervously as my family made the decision uh, to move from eastern part of Ukraine, uh, where I live, to the west. We couldn't take a lot of things, but only the most necessary because of the long journey instead of bags. It was more important for us to take cans of gasoline. Throughout Ukraine, there was panic. Yes, no one could believe that at the time when people use iPhones, fight with viruses, there can be a completely cruel extermination of humanity. I don't want to turn my channel into my thoughts and endless regrets about my beautiful country, but let me remind you that my channel is about perfumes that can heal, help distract from a depressive state, and today I want to tell you about the aromas perfumes that create my good mood all this time. For more than a month I had appetite bottles and everything fragrant as well as cosmetics did not interest me. But then I gradually began to understand that you can't give up life and love your present even if you don't know how to create a new future. The first two bottles that brought me back to life were Hattress Helen by Pithaligons and Le Labo Noir 29. Hattress Helen, it seems to me that it's not a fragrance, but a magic poison that bursts into the nose through bright tuberose and white flowers and turns everything black and white into color. This is a hedonist woman who brings back to life through citrus notes, helps me feel elegant through flowers, soapy notes give me the feeling that everything is in order, a certain hopefulness. And I love the woody uh, background. Uh, it's like a translation of stability for me. Yes, it is bright and a little suffocating, but it's like an energy drink. It also has medical notes. The fragrance is bright and very long-lasting. I recommend it to those who love white flowers in fragrances and lowering in opening. Le Labo Noir 29, yes. I have fragrances that I am ready to use all the time, but this fragrance has become my daily one. I had to just breathe it in every day, like right now. Noir 29 Dependence, Sweet Tea and Hey. I hear these notes and they sound so stylish and naturalistic. I can't believe that as a person who loves modern technologies, I would be attracted by the scent of nature and uh, the countryside. However, the connection with nature as is an important aspect of every person. Uh, tobacco and sweet figs 
give an unisex feel that is easy to pair with any elegant suit or light dress. For me, this is one of the memorable fragrances that made me fall in love with from the very first try. The fragrance is meaningful and intellectual. There are notes of uh, books, new wooden furniture in it, and this interage makes me intellectual. It is the perfect companion for every day. It is heard but does not shout about its presence. Plus, many people try to ask me what kind of fragrance I use, which means it is complimentary. I quickly run of those little bottles. Write to me under this video if you like any of them and uh, if you are familiar with them and it would be great to read uh, your comments your impressions or uh, just let me know which perfume you are using right now what is your favorite perfume right now now i want to focus my attention and yours on the fragrances that i use now I love notes of black currants in perfumery. I know they are not for everyone, but for their presence, I like Armani C fragrance line. Uh, Armani C Intense in black bottle is an amazing, sexy perfume, right? <laughs> as well as fun things uh, always happen after sunset by Killian. Also, I like for elegant and modern impression that gives black currants. Also, black currant is very basic in Mandarino uh, by Laboratoria Olfativo. This well-known fragrance is based not only on notes of happy mandarin and harmonious musk. The black currant in it creates a depth. I also heard this uh, my favorite ingredient in an introverted base fragrance, Do Not Disturb by Wilhelm Parfumerie. I love constancy and therefore even here in another country uh, starting a new life I still rely on old habits. Sunshine Amouage. <laughs> you can see how much I like it. Soft, feminine, creamy almond refreshing uh, notes of black currant, then osmanthus, magnolia and jasmine. It's chic, sweet apricot jam, not sugary, a bit sour. In the base you can also notice wood vanilla powder. Nice, festive, very pleasant in not hot, windy weather. Uh, in hot temperatures it will be very expressive and distract you. It smells expensive. When I use a fragrance I often think about its properties. This fragrance is an elegant antidepressant. <laughs> there is a lot of femininity and lightness in it while it broadcasts good manners. I spray it a little in the early morning and I like its light presence. Its only minus is marzipan notes which are also present in it awake my appetite. <laughs> I want to eat all the time when I use this fragrance. Let me know if you love this brand and this perfume. Let's talk about this. A fragrance not typical for this brand, uh, which I also took with me and I am delighted, is the fragrance Pretty Fruity Montal. Here too there is a black currant which with a slight surness prevents bright exotic fruits from turning into berry juice. After all, to be honest, there are enough berry aromas in perfumery, but this one, well balanced and not chemical luxury and stayed almost seven hours on my skin. As I mentioned, Montel Pretty Fruity, very atypical for the entire Montel line as there is no sticky sweetness and I think it doesn't fill the entire space. I would say well-mannered sweetness. I have a lot of unisex fragrances in my perfumery wardrobe and for such fragrances, especially in summer, I love 
the brand Aqua Di Parma. Now with me, uh, I have Mirto Di Panarea. This is my ideal positive friend. Fresh with sea breeze, citruses, uh, woody notes. It's constantly says that everything will be fine. <laughs> Rosemary in this uh, composition is pleasantly cooling. By the way, only a month ago I realized that it reminds me of uh, Crete Silver Mountain Water Fragrance. Um, from the entire line of blue bottles of this brand, which are dedicated to the marine uh, topic, this is the most feminine. Of course, the fragrance will be elegant on a man too, uh, but the jasmine and rose in this composition are just right for me. <laughs> Fresh background and floral notes. I assure you, it is very beautiful. These fragments can be bought without testing and people will like it very much if you choose it as a gift. This bottle I would like to duplicate one day. If you like this brand as I do, let me know what do you think about this blue line of fragrances and this particular fragrance. At the end of the video I want to thank you for watching. Write me if you want me to make more videos about perfumes in English. I continue to look for new brands for you and try out fragrances that impress me. And here on my channel it is always smells good <laughs> and you can talk with me about cosmetics, perfumes and beauty. See you soon guys! Bye!